Hey Capricorns, welcome to your general reading. I got a new deck of cards here for you. Um, work your light oracle cards there. This is this deck. And I'll be using this today for you guys to hopefully get a message there. I will as well turn over the top card on every deck that you can see. Because I just felt pulled to it today. Like I felt like some people are going to get different messages from the different cards that they can see so i will pull a card from each of the decks there as well but we'll get the main read first and let's get the oracle deck here first i'm trying to make it so you guys can see and still shuffle on camera so yeah because the cards are really pretty but I do like shuffling on camera so you guys can see as it happens. So, the Oracle message for you guys from the Work Your Light Oracle deck. And as always, I will put my information in the description box to contact me for personal readings and the names of the deck. So, let's see. And it is... Trust the niggle, Capricorn, okay? Trust the niggle. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you here? So you just have a little niggling feeling. Is something trying to tell you something? Maybe some of you are, you know, am I pregnant here? They're holding their stomach. Um, so yeah, trust the niggle. That's your instinct. That's your gut. That's your intuition. Trust it there, guys, always. Let's get you another one. What's that niggling feeling trying to tell you? Is it somebody on your mind that you're thinking of? Is it some sort of, like your soul, if you've got some sort of aches and pains in different areas, that can be um, different worries, things that are stressing you or, you know, different aches and pains in your body will tell you different things that your soul is trying to tell you. So definitely look that up. And we have, take a break. Okay, take a break too, huh? A life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill. So I feel like stop wanting everything to rush by you so quickly. Because in the end, you're going to want another round, right? At the end of your life, you'll say, I didn't do this, I didn't do that. I rushed through that time and it was the best time. I should have savoured it more. You know, it's not about the destination. It's about the journey. Enjoy the journey. OK, when you're trying to manifest and you get a desire in mind and you say, you know, well, this is what I want to manifest in my life. And you've got to enjoy the journey as well and enjoy the fact that you are a co-creator with the universe and things are manifesting for you. It's an exciting time. You know, most people look at it as like, oh, this is a hard time in my life. But you'll look back in a year's time maybe and think, wow, that was an easy time because maybe things will be harder in a year or maybe things will be an easier, but you're still feeling like, you know, wow, what a great time I had this happen. You know, there's a lot of beautiful things manifesting in your life and you might feel like, well, you know, this one difficult thing is, um, you know, a problem for you, but you're missing all the other beauty around you. You may have good health at this time, you know? Enjoy the process here, I'm feeling. Okay, guys, that's for you, Capricorn. Let's get you some of the tarot cards now. This is the Legend Tarot deck that I'll be using for the main cards here. This reading may be a bit longer than usual because it's a different setup, but hey, I love you guys, so this is what we do. If you're new, welcome to our soul family. Ten of Wands, letting go of the burden here, okay? Learning that not to drag everything with you, not to carry all the baggage with you here, okay? You know, these things could have been things that happened to you it's like you feel like life is happening to you not that you're living your life here get off the treadmill it's saying you know stop trying to carry everything and um do everything for everybody else here 
Get off that treadmill. Drop the burden. Learn to say no to what's not serving you here. Okay, guys? Learn to say no. Learning to let go of things in the past. Letting the past be the past so new things can come in. You want to see the Ace of Wands after the Ten of Wands. So that you have these new opportunities. You know, holding on to past experiences, good or bad, can be what's blocking new experiences coming in. Okay, guys? Six of Wands, yeah. Victory. You know, you will overcome this. You can successfully overcome this if you just let it go. I posted a song the other day by Tony Braxton saying, you know, I think it's called Let It Flow and everything will work out right, you know? This is you successfully letting go of what's not serving you, letting go of the past. And people who, you know, want to piggyback on your success, let them go here. Ace of Pentacles and look at that. Then we get these beautiful offers here, okay? Beautiful opportunities with the Ace of Pentacles, solid opportunities, whether it's a job, whether it's commitment, you know, you get this huge stepping stone. This is the minor arcana for the sun card. So it's a lot of positivity once you learn to let go of what's not serving you here. You get this opportunity, this offer coming in, this Ace of Pentacles here. Wonderful. Just about learning to let go, isn't it? Because even if you wanted something or somebody from your past, you've got to let go and trust that, you know, things will work out right. You know, people are sort of drawn to you at this time, taking notice of you. They're wanting your pentacles from you. They're wanting you to work hard for them and they're taking the easy route here, I feel. So, you know, it's like everybody tr trying to piggyback on you. You do the work and, you know, they get to the destination also. It's time to learn to let go of that Capricorns. Things will be manifesting for you with a Six of Wands. You're going to be able to overcome situations very easily. So have a break. The Hermit. Okay, so the Hermit's about, you know, that self journey. Not having to do everybody else's journey for them. Looking for answers within. Spending time on your own and enjoying your own company, I feel here. I don't feel like it's, you know, um, loneliness or this hermit mode where you're feeling quite down. I feel like, you know, enjoying your own company here. Look at her. You know, it's like somebody's asking her, you're on your own, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine on my own because I work hard here. So the people that will be worried without you, Capricorn, because they're the ones who aren't putting in the work. They're expecting you to carry everything, right? So, you know, um, finding out answers, connecting spiritually to um, communities. So it could be even Facebook pages or um, learning something spiritual yourself here. Getting the answers to that successfully. Starting a new business with the Ace of Pentacles. The opportunity is now for you guys. Okay. The Hanged Man. And what was this? Oh, two of them. The Hanged, Hanged Man, Emperor, and the Four of Swords. Yeah. So, not take, somebody's not moving towards you here or you're not moving towards them um, with the Hanged Man. The situation seems to be stuck still. Um, with the emperor, it's somebody's very egotistical, um, stuck in their ways. Look at this card, like very rooted in their ways um, with this emperor card. Okay, I'm trying to bring it closer, but the light is shining on it. So yeah, somebody seems to be stuck in their ways and they need to see a different point of view. If this is you, Capricorn, if you're like, I can't move on from the past or I'm feeling stuck, how do I let go? Um, it's just a bit of more healing to do. Don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. This is like maybe colds and things like that or, you know, that refusal to let go. Feeling like if you let go, then it's, you know, what's next. It's like being in the fool energy, but being scared. Okay. That's why we need the ace of wands to come up so that you are able to start moving forward very passionately. Um, you will when you see things differently with the hanged man, okay? Um, again, look at her. Seems to be self-protection going on here. 
okay divine protection your guides and angels around you here okay you just may feel like look i just want to rest for a little bit with the four of swords i just want to time out and want to stop doing things for everybody else and that's the way forward capricorn okay stop doing for everybody else okay because you're stuck and i know you feel like i'm always doing the right thing so why aren't i being re rewarded for it but you need to do the right thing for yourself here, okay? What's good for you so that this emperor can turn around and blossom into abundance, okay? A life of luxury. Stop doing for everybody else who isn't returning the favour here, okay? So you may be stuck on a love connection um, from the past here, but in actual fact, letting go with the Ten of Wands... Um, letting them see how life is without you, six of wands, ten of wands here, that their life, you did so much for them, will actually make them rethink here. Okay, with the sixes and the ace of pentacles, it'll make them rethink when they're on their own and they're having to do all this work for themselves. It doesn't mean, okay, let them realise, oh, they did all the work for me. They loved me so much, so I better go back. That doesn't mean you just quickly accept them back and start doing the work for them again. No, this is about you taking a break, being um, divinely protected here, I feel, with the hanged man with these wings around her. But also it's like, trust, trust the process, trust the niggle here. If you're getting some sort of feeling, trust it, you know? The divine is within you. You have the answers within you. The hermit there, okay? Trust the process. The devil. So yeah, getting back to you guys, right? Getting Learning to get back to yourself and let go of... Um, toxic people you may find a lot of them left during Scorpio season and you may feel like well if I'm doing the work why do people keep leaving because you're raising your vibrations now you're getting stronger okay doesn't mean that these people are meant to be in your life forever maybe just a season okay it could be that there's still toxic people around that's why you can't, you're feeling stuck. And again, it's learning to let go of what's not serving you, standing your ground and speaking your part here and saying, look, I can't do everything for you. That's that 10 of wands. That's learning to say, no, I can't do everything for you. I love you, want you in my life, but I, I can't go on like this, okay? And don't look at the time alone as... Um, a negative okay don't look at it as it's toxic if you are um have cut yourself off from the world and you're quite bitter and angry still then that would be toxic situation okay that would you being quite toxic but um it could be that you just need to learn to say no so people actually understand how much you do for them you know because it's unfortunate that we have to get to the point where People only realise when it's not there. The Empress, look at you. Fabulous, gorgeous. This is, I feel like, as um, the sun will move into Sagittarius, you'll start to feel that fire. You know, you'll start to feel good and... Um, once you've learned to let go with the devil card there of people who are not serving you, you're going to start feeling miles better and you're going to be able to manifest the, anything you want. The Empress, she can just get anything she wants just by a look, just by a command. So be careful what you are speaking into existence because, you know, the more you heal here with the Four of Swords, um, the more you will just manifest like crazy um, with the Empress, you know, this time alone will do you good, it's healing you, okay, the Hermit and the Four of Swords there, so this time alone is healing you into this Empress, okay, so you could also be waiting for um, an offer from another Capricorn or a fire sign here, because there's a lot of fiery energy, I just feel like 
you guys will feel much, much better into the more we go into November. It's time to really focus on letting go of the past and realizing what you want for your future. So if you feel like at the moment I'm stuck, nothing's coming in or going out, you know, I'm just stood still at the moment. This hanged man, gain a new perspective, okay? Right, now that I have this time, what do I want for my future? What do I want to call in here, okay? So what is it you guys want to call in? Is it love? Is it work? Because you're going to get to this point where you're the empress and everything's just going to be so easy that you'll be attracting things to you. So if you really think about it, this is time for things to come to fruition for you. So, you know, this take a break, trust the niggle, okay? So you may just like feeling stuck still and then you get a niggle like it's time to act now, okay? And then trust it. So let's have a look at the side cards. So here, if you are drawn to this deck, this message from this, this is the messages from your angel's deck. Ooh. Chantal. A new romance is imminent, either with a newcomer or through a reignited passion in your existing relationship. Be open to giving and receiving love. Okay. So somebody needed that. They may feel like, look, I've been single forever. I've been stuck in the same place. Let go of those toxic thoughts with the devil there, okay? It's not serving you. It's making you set in your ways like, oh, I'm too old to date now. I'm too old for all this. You're not. Let go of all those thoughts. That's the Ten of Wands. It's what's stopping you, holding you back there. And this is the Global Tarot 78 Mythical Tarot deck. And this is, the message from this deck is... Page of Swords, okay? Somebody's spying on you. Somebody wants to know more about you here, okay? Somebody's saying, like, could be spying on your social media, um, trying to message you from a fake account even, okay? So let's have a look here. Answers from your angels. What's this? Oh, very clear. The answer is no. If you was drawn to this deck, the answer is no. And let's see over here. I forgot this deck. It is... Um, I've forgotten. Light of the Shadow deck. And it is CB Conferry. Guidance, but where will it lead you? So you could be at that place like, what's next? And this is this stuck still energy, isn't it? Don't worry, just trust the niggle. That's the light within you. The hermit being able to follow that and trust it. Regardless of where it leads you, know that you're always in the right place at the right time. You know, trust that instinct there. And these ones, Fairy Tarot Angel. Four of Summers. Okay, this is Four of Cups in the normal deck. Being distracted and failing to see a magical opportunity. Taking someone or something for granted. Discontentment with life there. Some of you could be bored maybe sad, even lonely a bit there. Romance angels next. <clears throat> Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay, guys, that's the message there from that deck. And let's check here. This is the new Egyptian deck, Egyptian Oracle deck. And it is flow of abundance. Okay. <clears throat> And I just read the book for this card and it's about before the Nile was there, you know, um, it was like a desert, okay? So again, you may feel like you're in this desert land where nothing's growing and nothing's abundant, but it's about to change, okay? The waters are about to come and the river will flow. Flow of abundance there, guys. So it's coming if you was drawn to the Egyptian deck there. This is the universal, the universe has your back tarot. Okay, when I accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided back to the light. Amen, without a doubt. And we have the divine feminine deck here. The white calf buffalo woman. Okay, my heart is a compass. The path of love is true abundance. So, you know, allowing yourself to love yourself first okay 
let that energy flow up within you so you know you don't have to seek it outside of yourself again that's the hermit learning that everything you desire is within you okay and your heart will always lead you like the sea beacon fairy over there and here you'll always be led back to the light here a mantra my heart is the compass the path of love is true abundance there and the goddess deck here okay forgiveness okay so at times in life we are we all need forgiveness right so or we'll want god to forgive us on judgment day so please do forgive others who trespass against you as you want to be forgiven for trespassing against others right Forgiveness is not only important for the other person, it's much more important for you freeing up and letting go that burden with the Ten of Wands there. And we have the Akashic Tarot deck. Archangel Michael there. So wonderful. Again, that's card number nine. So again, about the Hermit learning like that you are protected and guided at this time and call on Archangel Michael when you need that support there. Okay, guys, and that's all the decks. I was having so much fun there. Okay, good luck, guys.